How do we stop this timer now? We've got the timer starting when we go through this start finish object. But we want to we want to stop it by going through actually the same object. So let's uh, go into the on trigger. We know we have this function that's triggering when we go through it. We want to start the timer. That's fair enough. But how do we stop it now? We would set this to false, right? So we can say if the if we're going first of all if we're going through that object. So the other dot game object dot name is equal to start finish because we could go through other objects if especially if you got other objects on your map we want to make sure that we're doing the right thing or triggering the right thing because this on trigger will trigger when you go through any on trigger elements on your map we want to yep that worked we want to start when we go through and then we want to have to drive around some checkpoints let's say one here and one here we don't want the player to start driving and then stop and then reverse back and go back over the start finish and get you know cheat basically because that might make you know it might only take two seconds to go there and go back whereas a lap should take around 15 seconds or something like that so we want to make sure that he needs to go through checkpoint one and whoever's driving checkpoint two before he can come back and trigger the stop timer or the stop uh, or record the time lap time so that's put in some checkpoints I'm just going to copy this bar the start finish bar duplicate it because it's already got the is trigger and just sort of the width of the map and I'll just put it I'll just for testing purposes we are going to put them over here and, and, and around the map but just for testing purposes I'll put them close so one here and I'll just uh, maybe make the their colors different and I'll change their name to checkpoint this can be checkpoint one duplicate this can be checkpoint number two checkpoint number two and we again I'll change the color so we can see the can be it can be red so checkpoint one and checkpoint two and we need to basically go make sure that we go through these two before we can restart the timer and do another lap let's go back to our on trigger function because we need to now capture when we go through these checkpoints and record something to say okay uh, um, because how how is this start finish if statement going to know when we've gone through those two we need to trigger a, some sort of boolean so let's start with that actually let's set some booleans up here so we'll go another private bool for checkpoint one and initially it's going to be set to false and another private ball checkpoint two and we're going to set that to false when you first start as well and we're going to come back down to this on trigger and we're going to say if the other if the game object that we're going through basically is called checkpoint one then I'm going to set the ball variable that we just created above to true meaning yes okay we have gone through the first checkpoint which it will be this one so we can determine if we've gone through it yet or not we're going to do the same thing for the second checkpoint so I'm just going to copy that and we're going to say checkpoint number two and the variable checkpoint number two we're going to set that to true also and at the start we should be setting these checkpoint variables 1 and 2 to false to make sure even though we know that we set them to false when we first started but every time we want to do a new lap anyway we know that we will need to set those to false if we're starting the timer then we knit from scratch then we need to set those to false okay um, it looks like that's an error but it's not 
what do we need to do next? We need to stop the timer or we need to make sure that it's uh, being reset when we come through. Let's just test this for some, uh, some reason see what happens. Okay, we've got a string to bool. Where is that error? string to bool. Ah, sorry. Double equal signs. I don't know why I left those out. That's a bit weird. So there actually was an error there that was underlying underlining the that I was trying to set instead of compare. That should get rid of those two errors. Okay, let's play. Sorry, we should actually also put in some debug.logs just so we can see this is checkpoint number one and this will be checkpoint number two. You don't have to do this part but I just want to see it on the console as we pass through the two checkpoints. we stop the timer. The timer is still running here and we went through it a second time and we just simply set the start timer to true and these checkpoints to false again well every time we go through. We actually want to set when we come back through and if we've gone through the checkpoints we want to actually set the timer or the start timer um, boolean to false so it stops it in here so if if the checkpoint 1 is equal to false no sorry if it's equal to true meaning if we've gone through it then we want to set the start to false and stop it otherwise we will put all that stuff in here and start it. Let's see what happens now. So when we first start this in theory because checkpoint is set to false when we first start the game up here it's going to go in and start the timer and if we haven't gone through the first checkpoint yet it still won't stop the timer until we set the checkpoint 1 to true which the only way to do that is to actually go through it. So let's see if that logic works here. We're going to go through the first checkpoint, checkpoint one, and then we're going to come back and see if the timer stops. There you go. We, we ran a 7.22. So that works perfectly. But that's not exactly how we want it to work. Eventually we want to record the best time and put that, let's say that 7.22 was our first lap, that should go into our best time. We also need to check if we've gone through both checkpoints, not just the first checkpoint. So we actually need to edit this. If checkpoint 1 is true and 2 ambersands, checkpoint 2 is true also, then we're going to start uh, set the start timer to false. So let's test that one too. Okay, we're going to go through. It's going to stop. You notice that the timer isn't stopping because we need to first go through. So that's working perfectly and we can see that the debugging here, so we can turn those off but you can just leave them for now if you want. We can now uh, put these around the, the 
parts of the map where the checkpoints actually want to, are going to go but we just want to make sure that we've got the logic down pat first or uh, finalized because this this isn't if we go back to our um, list here we need we've started the timer when we go through the start finish we get the timer we've got the timer working through the debug and then we've displayed the timer through the canvas and how do we stop the timer using checkpoints so we've done that but now the next thing is how do we record the best time so that'll be in our next next video